Hey y'all, so I'm sitting in the car and I decided to make a little video real quick. So, like I pay attention to like if I get dislikes or if I get likes on videos. And you guys know I don't give head on YouTube or anything. I could, but I don't. But, um, like, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing the YouTube or not. I kind of really like it for more of my outlet. But, now I'm at this point to where I'm like, I got, you know, enough certain amount of people to be making money. But, I don't get the views I want. So, I'm like, how do I get all these people? And I don't want to put money into stuff too either. I don't want to put money into something and then I don't profit from it. So that's kind of where my pregnancy head is at and my mommy and wife head is at. So I'm supposed to be getting a camera. I'm waiting till we, we deal with all this other stuff first. The camera don't cost that much but I really don't want to touch, you know, what we've been saving and stuff. <sighs> Just in case we have to use it for personal reasons, okay? So, but yeah, I'm really thinking about just quitting YouTube or whatever. Like, I don't really care if I lose subscribers or whatever, but one minute I was just getting subscribers, subscribers, subscribers. And people need to understand that it's not always about just having the subscribers, it's about the views too when you're trying to get paid. First, I didn't really care about getting paid. But y'all, I had videos I've deleted off my channel that had over like 20 something thousand views or more. And I had, and I'm trying to figure out like, why didn't I get paid for that video? Um, I know at one time, like I made like $2 and I can't remember from what video that was, but I think they said they don't let you cash out unless you have a hundred dollars or something like that. And I try to look and make sure I didn't get no information, information from my old address or anything. And I don't see anything on YouTube or emails or anything. Like a few years ago when they start paying people, um, I start to, uh, I don't know how long it's really been, but for me it was about three, four years ago when they emailed me the contract and I saw my name on it. And it was if I want to start getting paid for ads and stuff. Something like that. And I did it. Why would he leave her? I know her big brother is smart enough to not let her go on the street. But I want to be able to bring better content. But I'm looking at these other people. How they haven't really been on here long. And they make it all this money. And I'm like, damn, I want to have like some type of extra income, even if it's only $500. I heard one YouTuber say, say that they made 15000 in a month. And they was talking about how that was not a lot. And I said, hold up, cuz. Hold up, cuz. What I'm doing wrong if you out here <laughs> making $15,000 in a month. That's a lot of money, all. And I'm a stay-at-home mom. So, like... I'm just trying to wait because my space that I'm in, it was more like, I don't know if anybody is like us or if you have the same situation. You know how like sometimes you have children and you have to think about them before yourself. When we moved here, <laughs> we was like, uh, we didn't even know. We already signed the lease and all that. We didn't put almost 2,000 down guests to get up in here. Um... That wasn't even including the having to get the gas and electric on. That by itself was about like seven, eight hundred dollars, almost a thousand right there on that by itself. So we spent almost three thousand dollars just to move in here, and it pissed me off because the people kept telling us, "Oh, we're gonna fix this, we're gonna fix that, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that." We only have one maintenance man. I said, well, damn, if y'all had one maintenance man when we moved over here, we wouldn't have moved over here. Because we're not on, like, I'm not knocking nobody to have it. Because my family always, family members be like, get on Section A, do this, do that, so y'all can have extra money. Mm. 
I'm the type of person, if I can spend the money on it, I want to spend the money on it, okay? So, I'm not even going to tell you how much we're paying rent, okay? Just know it could be a mortgage, okay? So, we're working on all that, you know, fixing things. We're just waiting on this one little thing to come on so we can get on and, uh, you know, get a better future for our children so they can have their own backyard. We don't, right now, we are playing. They're out playing or whatever. My husband's sitting there watching them, and I'm watching at the same time. But, like, you want more. So, once we get into this house, I'll be able to make more content, better content. And I got to download. My husband told me to go ahead and download um, the editing software I want. And Because even if I don't get paid, I still want my stuff to be nice quality. Because when I first started doing YouTube... I don't know how far my videos go back because I went back looking at them and I was going to delete them. But then when I seen that my little children was on there and I said, no, I'm not deleting my babies. He almost ran his sister over. He is. She okay. She not crying. <laughs> Daddy just gave me a look. So... Get him up. So anyway, um, they out here riding their bikes and stuff. So anyway, now he crying because he in trouble. But um, I don't um, I don't have um, yeah my quality and all that i know it sucks and stuff so i don't expect to get like my quality sucked a long time ago and i got and it's like i know they teach you and tell you how you can make money make sure the um quality of the video is great that's good it don't really have to be great but like the content what you bring out what you talk about sometimes i just come on here and just vent because i just be going through sometimes and it's just little me here with all five of my kids Yes, that was our decision, but people really say some stupid shit like that. It's really not nobody's decision, okay? When you have sex, you don't expect to always get pregnant, you know what I mean? And I thank God I don't knock nobody else for having different baby daddies, but that was my goal. My goal was to have the one, my husband only, the father, okay? So, I mean, if that was somebody else's choice, if the relationship didn't work out, it didn't work out, you got different fathers, it is what it is, but that's my thing like that's what i didn't want so that's uh i graduated high school i've been to college a little bit well i don't know what they call beauty school i think they call it trade school anyway i went there and i almost finished but you know my children came up like i almost i didn't die the second time around with carrying this with carrying my last son i mean not my last son my second son but I did have complications and stuff, and it kind of messed me up from being able to do my career, what I wanted to do. And now I'm figuring out what I really want to do and all that. So I'm really like probably gonna hold out on videos and doing recordings and stuff, cause I get like 30 views uh, a video. Some of them I get more, but how they work now is like uh the first week or something like that you gotta make over a thousand views or something like that for them to pay you for them to put ads in your video but when i went on the little whatchamacallit thing it says something you have to have at least a thousand subscribers i think just to get ads in your videos i don't know if you have a youtube channel go check that um and like that's when people can start reaching out to you to um have you tried things and stuff um products you, you know because people don't just get paid cash from youtube they get paid by getting free products also so those things and i do i do influencer and i get hella shit from them so if you want my little linky link just let me know so i can get the little the little um little points and what the points do is help like certain companies that want to give you products and it helps you get more products the more um points you have i don't know how many points i have right now but i can tell you what i recently just got for my husband 
for Father's Day. What are you doing? Hey, don't do that no more. This motherfucker is locked. I don't know why it be locked. There we go. So anyway, and that's, I'm just ready to move. Like, I'm annoyed. So I won't be doing like vlogs and shit here. I wanted to when I first moved here, but I was going through so much it wasn't even income because our income is not a problem right now and it won't be but like i have like being pregnant was my issue the last time because i could i wouldn't been able to vlog like i see a lot of these girls on here and they just be vlogging and i have problems like i've been cleaning like thoroughly cleaning for like three weeks straight and I'm in so much pain down there. So, you know, this is number six. This is not like this number four or I'm having twins and it's making it number four. No, I'm in pain because of, this is number six. And I know what I was told by my doctor. And it was like, you have like something that's in there, like your little, I can't think of what it's called, but it's kind of like a thin layer and it helps hold the baby or some crap like that up. And what it does is, after a while it stretch, it stretch, and then it can't really hold you up like that. And so you have to go buy those pregnancy belts. So I've been going through it, I've been pain. And I knew I didn't want another baby because I remember how I healed after having Ricaria. And that right there, I couldn't walk. I couldn't do nothing. I had to let my kids miss school a few times because I could not walk at all. I could not walk. So. I'm not that type of parent that let my child, you know, go out to the bus stop by themselves, unless the bus stop is like right in front of my door. And it's it's kind of, but it's not. You know what I mean? If I could see him like getting on the bus, that's that's what my problem is. I want to see him getting on the bus. So, yeah, I just been going through it, and I'm not really gonna put that much content. I might come back, you know, later and show y'all my belly probably. When I'm almost done and tell y'all how I'm doing, unless we're already moved. Once we move, then I'll probably be more willing to bring out more content and to fix my content and to make sure that I was pointing at the baby because I, I be so into my children, watching my children. At the same time, even when people call me, I be like, you know, you know, I'm a parent. I can't just give you my whole attention when I'm talking to you on the phone because I got to see what my children are doing, you know? So, anyway, um, even though my husband is standing, I still, I'm watching. So, anyway, y'all, I'm at the end this video, and, yeah, I just want y'all to know that, yeah, I'm just going to slow my content down. I know a few people wanted me to make videos for month-to-month uh, -month videos, but, y'all, I don't have no new fucking symptoms. Um, it's basically about the same as it was with Caria. Ain't nothing new. I crave coffee every motherfucking day. I was craving coffee when I once I got pregnant with this baby. And those are signs of having a girl and you crave chocolate. Those are signs of having a girl. Um and I like spicy food. Those are signs of having a little girl. And um yeah, just what is it? Acidic food? I think that's what it is. Is that what that stuff is? Yeah, acidic food. That's what it is. Cause alkaline is more like your fruits and vegetables and and um well I crave vegetables too but hey 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 get the broom and knock that down no you do it with the broom like right now I'm in pain y'all doing this video I'm in like pain I'm gonna have to get my doctor I have an appointment this I told my husband to tell his his boss that he need the 11th off he might be already off on the 11th but <sighs> he need to make sure he's off on the 26th I can tell y'all this too if you um you got me fucked up 
He about to take my shoe and knock down a spider web. Oh, 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 fuck, boy. Y'all, I'm sorry for cussing. I'll lean you. Put my shit down. I swear to God, I'll pee in your shoes. <laughs> God, please forgive me for swearing. I'll pee in your shoes. <laughs> my husband play with me like that. We play with each other. We ain't violent at all. We need to shut the book. He's about to take my shoe. He know I don't like spiders or spider whips. Y'all don't know Ricari is sitting right in front of the car. She ain't even noticing she by herself. Her daddy bag. So anyway, but <laughs> I will pee in your shoes. He know I ain't playing. I don't do my stuff like that. I don't do yours like that. Anyway, y'all, he was playing though. He know my nerves get bad. So but y'all, yeah, I'm just gonna bring probably more content. If I'm, not if, once we're moved from over here, it'll be real soon. I hope, I was hoping that it'd be done by now so we wouldn't have to move when the kids are um, out of school or whatever. I mean, in school, but it looks like we're gonna have to do all this while they're in school too. And they're gonna have to transfer to another one unless we find, you know, our house over in this area somewhere. But yeah, I am like annoyed, very annoyed <sighs> with life. Like, they don't make, they don't make um, certain apartment sizes. Like, it was some that had four bedrooms, but um, we couldn't, they wasn't, they wasn't going to be open yet for a while. And it's just like how we live here. It's like a town home. So, it's very tiny. I mean, it's the front room, and then boom, there's the kitchen. Then boom, there's the stairs. You know what I mean? Then boom, there's the room. And boom, there goes their room. And then from their room, it's boom, that's the bathroom. And our last place, that was the only real good thing about our last place was that we had two bathrooms. Even though it was, like, I couldn't even use the shower. I used the shower one time living there. One time living there. I used that shower. And then, I mean, them nasty MFs. We paying all that money. I'm, no, I'm not even going to tell you how much we was paying, but people look at 500 600 700 $800 ain't a lot of money, y'all. That's mortgage money. People even pay mortgages in like two, three hundred dollars. People pay mortgages. It depends on how old the house is and what the the quality of the house and um what they put in. Cause it was some house we was looking at to rent before we got over here, and you had to go through um what is it called? You had to go through a mortgage company. Y'all, next thing we knew, we were so pissed. Someone bought the house for thirty thousand, and their mortgage was like two hundred dollars or something a month. So I was like so pissed because the house was like the bathroom was okay, and um, that's the only down part about it. It had one bathroom. So I mean, you could like remodel that or something. That's where we've been thinking about what type of house we want to buy because. You can buy houses and then just put work in it. I told him no later than like 2007 because you want to, you don't want nothing to have any mold or anything in there like that. And we have children, then we have to vacate and we have a mold specialist come in. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, my content will be more, more better once I move. Oh, Y'all, I'm a mom of five. I know it's other people that's doing great and they got like six, seven children. And they're doing real great. But when it comes to my income, I think about what my kids need before myself. And then I'm not getting paid from here. So I can't really fix my content. Because I would love to be able to run and go spend $50 on some type of download that um, helps with content. And my, my editing. I would love to go spend two, $300 on that uh, camera that I've seen in Best Buy. But I'm not going to spend that money, and then I'm not going to make nothing back. I know you got to spend a little bit of money to make money, but 
in my life and in my timing, I'm 27. I don't just, I'm not reckless. I'm not reckless at all. <laughs> at all with my money. So, but with our money at all. So, uh, you wouldn't catch me go get a pair of J's unless I knew I had some stacks in my account. That's the only way I'm getting a pair of J's. I'm dead ass. Unless I know my husband's, uh, uh, if I know how much he make. That's the only way I'm touching it. If we make in a certain amount a month, that's the only way I'm touching it. I went there buy me a pair of J's and I know that could be a camera. Or that could be my kids, like, two of my kids, like, you know, six pairs of jeans a piece. You know what I mean? So, uh-uh. Your girl ain't like that. Ain't set up like that. But anyway, I love you guys. And I'll talk to you lovely people later. And see y'all next time. I don't know when, but I'll see y'all soon. I'm about to... Remember this before I get off here. Every Tuesday, I go up. So, if I'm back next month... And my birthday's next month. I'll be 28. It's August the 10th. So, and my little niece to be 23. I'm five years older than her. Her birthday's August the 7th. Um, but, yeah, y'all. I'll be back soon. Whenever I get from here. Because I was um fasting, too, at first. And I made it through the fasting. And that's when the devil tried to test you the most. And I'm just tired of dealing with it. So, I don't want to bring content that don't nobody like. And I don't want to bring content. I know the big YouTubers get dislikes all the time. But they got more likes than dislikes. And, I mean, I'm not rich. And I'm not making money like they are. So, yeah. Anyway, talk to you lovely people later. And have a blessed one, okay? Bye.